Well, 44 high school student teams from nine states traveled right here to the Maverick Center to show off their STEM skills. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson shows us what the Utah Regional First Robotics Competition means to these students. Nerve-wracking, exciting, all the above, really. All emotions have been felt here. Um, and yeah, it's just high intensity constant. Teams from across the West Coast coming to the city to compete. A big deal for teams like the Robohawks from Mount Pleasant, who had to drive 100 miles to Salt Lake City to purchase pool noodles for their machine. In fact, so rural that we had to source a lot of our parts from just a local hardware store to build our robot. Teams have from January to March to create their robots, and as you can see, these kids really show up and show out. How many hours went into building this? Oh, probably in the thousands, right? I, I have a mic. Oh, nights overnight, over weekends. Yeah. Maya Nelson is part of the Ames Ampers. They said their team had to gather all of their own funding to even participate. It's it's like nothing else I've ever experienced. It has the energy and competitiveness of a sport with just the creativity and intellectual engagement of making something. And there's so much freedom in what you can do. Winners or losers, the kids say it's a great platform for them to learn all sorts of skills. I think that emphasized for me that just general team dynamics are incredibly important. Time management, team management, and just interpersonal relationships on the team can make or break a season. Just get into STEM, man. It's super fun. There's a lot of competitions. There's a lot of just super fun stuff. It's not all classwork boringness. In West Valley City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.